So apparently, you could uh, solve a puzzle and possibly make one million dollars. So I thought this would be kind of like a interesting finance story. So a million dollars could buy you a lot of cool things like a Lamborghini, an apartment in Manhattan, a private island in the French Polynesia, a lavish vacation across the Mediterranean, or you know, some NFTs that can probably help you rake in a few more millions in the future or obviously make you lose everything. So while a million dollars isn't as appealing as it used to be, the truth is it's hard to earn, but you could... All it takes is a stroke of luck, a few hours of patience, and a puzzle. The One Million Dollar Puzzle by MSCHF specifically. Which, by the way, like I'm reading this article just for those that are listening to this, and right off the bat, it doesn't look like a scam necessarily, but it's basically like you potentially buying a lottery ticket, having fun solving a puzzle, and basically being like, oh no, I just like lost like $20 or something. That's kind of like what I'm kind of like already getting at, because if you've ever played the lottery, like a scratch-off lottery, lottery ticket, you probably at least one time played a scratch-off ticket where you ended up solving a puzzle or like, where it's like basically like an actual game, right? And this doesn't really seem too different to me, except for maybe a little bit more interactive, as in like it actually looks like a puzzle, like a little physical puzzle that you solve. But let's continue with the story. So as you can already tell by the name, the puzzle gives you the chance to take home $1 million just by completing it. The puzzle is comprised of 500 jigsaw pieces, so a decent sized puzzle, and you have to assemble them to form a giant multicolored QR code. Once done, simply scan the code using a mobile device and wait until you get directed to a website where you'll key in a secret prize code found in the box. You then get to your moment of truth and find out whether you're lucky enough to be a millionaire. So, I mean, I think it's a fun concept, right? Like, the way that I see it, like, see something like this, right, is if you're out of debt and you just kind of have, like, extra money burning in, like, your pocket and you just feel like, you know, maybe spending on something that's kind of fun, this might be something to, like, spend, like, a couple bucks on just to have fun with it. Right? He's like, oh, I get to solve a puzzle, right? But, hey, you know, the extra, like, sugar on top or the cherry on top of the ice cream could be like, oh, yeah, solved a pretty fun puzzle, kind of doing like a little tech thing. And also, by the way, I just kind of basically made potentially $1 million, right? Honestly, I think for this, like something like this, if you are like in a relationship with someone, I think this would probably be like a pretty fun like date night, right? Because you get to like have fun solving a puzzle with your date, but then also you can be like, hey, guess what? (laughs) We just won $1 million. So I can see something like that would be kind of fun, but definitely don't take anything like this too seriously. Like for example... You probably have heard of the whole like McDonald's monopoly thing where you could win like a million dollars, right? That was an actual chance for people to potentially make a million dollars. The only problem is that it was basically one massive scandal slash scam by some of the like employees at McDonald's who are basically Everyone that won was like an employee of McDonald's or something like that. It was something crazy. Like there's like a documentary about it like on YouTube and stuff about this whole kind of like scam thing. But it's very interesting when you really think about it. Like when you actually watch it, it's like, oh, Jesus. So don't ever really take anything like this too seriously. Just be like, okay, you know, I'm going to do this for the fun of it. If I win, okay. If I lose, 
okay, you know, I still had fun with the puzzle. That's the way to really look at something like this. Not like it's like a real chance to make a million dollars, but basically be like, hey, I'm going to buy like a fun puzzle, right, that has a tech part to it, you know, scanning the QR code that it makes just for the fun of it. Like it makes it a little bit more interactive, a little bit more interesting, but you also have the side benefit of potentially making a million dollars. So even if you don't end up adding a lot of zeros to your bank account, you won't be left with nothing. Players can win anywhere from a quarter to a million dollars. And you can also select your preferred payment method once you find out you're winning. So your prize money will be paid within one to four days, either a via a digital check or printed check mailed straight to your home in a week or two. So this potentially life-changing puzzle has received praises from the likes of Mashable, Business Insider, iHeartRadio, Nerdist, and more. Now, here's the thing to keep in mind. Even for the site that I'm like, reading this article from, the New York Post, all those sites that I mentioned and also the New York Post, like this type of article is like a sponsored article. So what this means is that pretty much the company behind the $1 million puzzle paid all these companies to write about it, right? which, you know, they all probably get like millions and millions of hits, right? So even if like, you know, 200,000 people buy this thing at like $25, right? They'll probably end up making a profit, right? Or like 500,000 people end up buying this thing, you know, they'll still probably be making a profit, right? I mean, they probably won't even need that much, honestly. But the thing to really understand, like, there's a reason why this is even showing up on like, a, on, like, a news website. So just keep that in mind. Like, the company behind this is doing this because they know if if they're legitimate, right, in terms of, like, the payout, which they probably are, if they're, like, like legitimate, they probably ran the numbers, right, and be like, okay, the chances of someone actually potentially getting the right prize, like the right QR code, and actually claiming the prize are at like this probably like certain type of odds, right? And they probably have insurance that they pay for the prize winnings. But not to mention, they also probably calculated, okay, this is how much we paid for this insurance payout. How much money can we make in just terms of straight cash profit after everything is said and done, even after paying for this insurance, because that's the typical way that a lot of these um, lotteries are done, or like sweepstakes are done, basically, right? Where they typically, depending on this like prize amount, they will actually end up paying like an insurance company a really hefty amount of money every single month to basically do this payout in case someone were to actually win, right? So, I just think this would be like more of a fun idea. Now, apparently, you could do this for about uh, $24.99 or originally $30, right? Because I guess if you go to New York Post, there's like a little discount, right? You can also get a two-pack for $46.99 and a three-pack for $75.99. So I think it's a pretty interesting concept. I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with it. But I think the way to really look at this specific product or like another thing is to really view it along the lines of like, okay, I'm just going to have fun with this, splurge on it, maybe make it like a date night or maybe make it like a buddy hangout, right, while you're like binge watching like a Netflix show or something and you guys just do a puzzle and be like, oh, hey, I just spent like 30 bucks on a puzzle and ended up winning a million dollars. Cool. Or, oh, I just spent 30 bucks on a puzzle. Okay, I spent 30 bucks on a puzzle, right? So that's a way to really look at it. If you want to learn how to get out of debt and master your money, go check out 40 bucks.com. <laughs>